Hey guys, all the King's Horses here. Hey guys, uh, y'all remember Bullet, the old uh, 2001 Escort ZX2 uh, that I've uh, been doing some heavy modification to. Uh, sorry guys, we didn't show the original time of putting uh, the uh, S10 rear end under it. Uh, as you can see, I've got the lift springs under here. Uh, under here, I've had them in different ways trying it different ways I think this way is going to work better uh, it's going to get it lower down in down the ground uh, before it was jacked up real real high and uh, we've got them in there uh, built brackets for it I'm sure in some of the other videos the little short tidbits you know, I'm drilling out holes for these bits uh, wearing out bits drilling through that plate metal Anyway, you can see that I've got the lip spring in there. Um, parts inside. Uh, it's pretty well gutted. Uh, we've got the front end up on it. I've uh, got the Mustang wheels on it. And uh, you can see it's uh, pretty low to the ground. Of course, the tires are flat. Uh, but we've got to put the uh, springs back in it and uh, of course the U-bolts, uh, not U-bolts, uh, uh, ball joints and uh, as you can see uh, it's kind of back here in the back and uh, and say that rear end I thought we were going to I was going to get another rear end for it and uh, Get an S10 Blazer rear end with the disc brakes, but uh, funds are different, and, you know, hard to come by. Uh, that may be something I do later on down the road, uh, but for now, I've kind of took the rear end apart, and as you can see, I've got it here laying on the ground. Uh, Turns out what had happened was, is uh, the yoke wasn't on there, so it really wasn't that it was messed up or wore out, it was just that the uh, pinion gear there was loose and was causing it to lock up, and it wasn't tight. So I ordered a yoke off of YouTube. Uh, actually, that yoke came off of a Firebird, but it does fit this spline. It fit the splines on there. Uh, apparently, these rear ends are universal. They put these in the older Firebirds and uh, Camaros and some of the other GM cars that had these smaller rear ends in them. And, uh, but anyway, this rear end here came out of the 96 S10 pickup. And uh, so I've got it, took it out, I sanded it down and primered it. Got the yoke on there for now. Uh, got to get it tightened all the way up and get the adjustment on that. And then uh, we will um, put the uh, gears back in it. They're right here. Got to put them back in there and uh, get that adjusted. Um, got everything here. You can see I've got the junkiest outside workbench in YouTube, it looks like, in my old trashed out junkyard yard. But here's the, the gears, there's the carriers, bolts, and everything. Um, we uh, differential cover right there that I painted, cleaned up. That was a chore cleaning that up. It was real dirty. I got real filthy cleaning that up and then uh, painted it up. But you can see the differential cover. And, uh, oh, I wanted to show you these wheels. Don't know if I'm going to keep these wheels on the back, uh, but they came off of a uh, late model Camaro uh, 20 inch wheels. Uh, they look pretty good up on there. Um, got adapters to pull them out a little bit and uh, they kind of sink up in there. Uh, 
they wanted like $175 a piece for those, but uh, I was able to talk him down and got them both for $175. Uh, tires, everything of those, and uh, got those pulled out. And uh, like I say, uh, those look pretty good up on there. And uh, that old engine hoist chain works pretty good on that rear end, holding it up in there. And uh, I want to show you my little friend here. Uh, in my little black cat out here, he sits out here and messes around with all this stuff out here. We call him Junkyard. Hey, Junkyard! Junkyard! What you doing, Junkyard? Anyway, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. Yeah. One of our mini cats out here. But anyway, that's a little update on Bullet. You can see that she's back over there in the back of the yard. But, uh, I want to get her back rolling again. Uh, and uh, anyway, like I say, we're going to sign off from here. Y'all like, subscribe, comment, and uh, get the word out there that I'm out here on YouTube. Anyway, it's been another production of All the King's Horses. See you guys.